So what's cooking in the Classic 8 Conference? Well, here at Arrowhead, it's a big showdown between the Warhawks and Catholic Memorial. Arrowhead is trying to stay undefeated on the season and trying to extend its winning streak against the Crusaders. Arrowhead had won the last five meetings between these two teams. The Warhawks get off to a fast start when Brady Kelleher airs it out and Brandon Kim pulls it down. Nice catch, 32 yards on the play. Later in the drive, Kelleher hands off to Ricky Finko, who gets a block and takes a big hit, but only after crossing the goal line, 7-0 Arrowhead. Next possession, the Warhawks try some trickery. Dom Tortorello takes the handoff, then fakes a handoff, then fires to an all-alone Kenny Finko. That's two Finkos who have scored now, and the Warhawks lead 13-0. Here's a rare miscue by the Warhawks offense. The loose ball bounces conveniently into the hands of Jake Showman. He'll go the distance to make it 13-7. Second quarter, it's 19-7 Warhawks. When Kelleher hits Brandon Kim, he slips a tackle and slides his way into the end zone. Arrowhead leads by 20. The kids who do push-ups after each touchdown are getting a workout. Arrowhead's defense dominated in the same way its offense did. Pat White's pass is tipped and intercepted by Charlie Reutemann. He'll make a nice return deep into Crusader territory. Moments later, it's Kelleher to Steve Radetzky for another score. Arrowhead cruises to the victory, 50-7. The Warhawks improve to 3-0 on the season. Now to a showdown in Watertown. Great game here between the Goslings and visiting Wisconsin Lutheran. Wisco strikes first through the air. Zach Evans looks deep for Adia Bell, who's wide open, 60 yards on the play, 7-0 Vikings. On the ensuing kickoff, Aaron Cumbier fakes the handoff, but he'll keep it, and he is going, going, gone. 90 yards to tie the game at seven. Wisconsin Lutheran would score the next three touchdowns, including this run by Zach Evans to take a 28-7 lead. But the Goslings battle back. It's Tarek Yagi to Jacob Lowersdorf. This will make it 28-14, and Yagi would later score on a touchdown run to close within seven. Then it's Yagi going up top to Aaron Cumbier. He'll make the catch, and he won't be caught. 28 apiece. But the Vikings will not let this one get away. Adia Bell up the middle, breaking tackles. He'll score the decisive TD, and Wisconsin Lutheran escapes with a 35-28 victory.